I've showed us making these uh, threaded parts here before. Um, we put a flat on each end here. Um, putting the first flat on, super simple. You just throw it in there and cut the flat. The other flat needs to be relatively parallel to the other one. It doesn't have to be, you know, super perfect, but try to get it as close as possible. So I've shown that we've used the uh, like fourth axis to do this, but the fourth axis is almost never in the machine because it's so heavy and um, and takes up so much space. So I'm going to show you how I do this without the fourth axis. So here's a rod with just one flat on it. Um, there's several ways to do it, but this is a uh, I'm going to get a uh, collet block for this uh, eventually, but I don't have one that's an inch and a half. Um, so this is how we're doing it now. I use this um, angle finder. I think it's maybe around 70 bucks. I'm not sure. Uh, we had it for another job, and uh, so it, it works out for this one. So I've got a rubber band twisted this way on a parallel. Uh, this is magnetic, but the stainless isn't, so um, this just gives me a bigger surface area. Um, bring this rubber band around and down. And to keep it tight, I bring it up around here. And here. And that keeps itself flat with the... Sorry. That keeps itself flat with the uh, flat here, and um, I'll go ahead and show you putting it in the machine. So now I just uh, put it in the vise, get it flat, tighten the vise a little bit, get her to zero. Clamp it down and we're good to go. I run the same G code and it cuts the other side. Thanks for watching.